Hi there, Keith here with another video blog. I'm standing here in my kitchen looking out at the beautiful Ottawa scenery and today is a gorgeous day. The sun is shining and I look at the ground and there's absolutely no snow on the ground. The reason I point that out is some might find it weird over the past week or two I've been driving around listening to the song It's the Most Wonderful Time of Year. Like not in repetition but from time to time I listen to that song. And to me this is the most wonderful time of year. Grey Cup weekend. The weekend that I look forward to probably more than any other. More than the holidays, probably almost as much as my birthday, I absolutely love Grey Cup Weekend. A big part of the reason that I love Grey Cup Weekend is getting back in touch with so many friends that have accumulated over the years who are also big CFL fans like myself. Friends like my friend Norm out in Regina. You might know Norm. At the Riders games, he's the one in green. But that doesn't help? I know. He's the one with the watermelon on his head. No? Okay. He's the guy that if you were walking down the streets of Regina, or quite frankly the streets of any city where there's a CFL game being played, and he's walking along in his green, his, his green Ridgeway shirt and his watermelon on his head, people scream out Norm. Quite frankly, I think this guy is selling himself short and he could probably run for public office in Regina and win. Now on paper, Norm and I shouldn't be friends. He's a Riders fan, I'm a Lions fan. But somehow it just works. I'm very proud to call Norm a friend. Then there's also Brian and uh, Sue out in Vancouver. Brian runs the Lion's Den website and has been a huge fan of the Lions for years, and Sue's not so bad herself. It's always great when I go to Vancouver to get to see Brian. Many times I've been to games and I look, I look across at his seats and there's Brian getting the crowd going. He's a phenomenal guy and a huge CFL fan and I look forward to seeing him very much. Then there's Terry out in Winnipeg. Now Terry will tell you that she likes the Bombers, on Monday, but she might tell you on Tuesday that she likes the Tiger Cats, and on Wednesday she might like the Argos. I don't necessarily know what's going on with Terry, but I know she's not to be trifled with, and I know that she's a huge fan, and I look forward to seeing her as well. If I'm listing off people, I have to list my friend Christina out in Vancouver, who runs the Rosedale and Robson. Christina's been an absolutely amazing friend over the last few years, and I look forward to seeing her. On top of being very generous with uh, with with me in terms of treating me like. Uh, treating me like the brother that she never had, or another brother that she has, always sending me wonderful gifts and things of that nature. She's extremely thoughtful and kind, and somebody that I'm extremely glad that I've gotten to know. And if I'm listing friends, I would get a huge kick in the you-know-where if I didn't list my friend Nick from Hamilton. Nick is a huge Argonaut, uh, sorry, excuse me, a huge Tiger Cats fan, and even though the Tiger Cats had a bit of a disappointing this season, he's still sticking in there, although his Facebook post might tell you something different. He, tell, he, he tells me that he's looking forward to partying with the big man this weekend. And of course, I'm the big man. Now, I'm not necessarily sure if that's a shot at my weight or a shot at my stature, but nonetheless, I hope to get clarification on that this weekend. And either way, it'll be good to see my friend. It'll be good to see so many different people this weekend. When you think about the Great Cup, yes, the game is absolutely fantastic. And yes, I am disappointed that the BC Lions won't be there. But quite frankly, in all the Great Cups that I've gone to, I've only seen BC play in a few of them. Heck, for me it's all about the partying and it's about getting together with your friends and meeting new friends and all the wonderful experiences that you have along the way. The game to me is icing on the cake. Now in regards to the events leading up to it, there are a couple that I look forward to and unfortunately this year I've got a bit of a dilemma because they seem to be at the exact same time. One is the state of the league, which is Mark Cohan, the commissioner of the CFL's opportunity to get together with fans and talk about, you guessed it, the state of the league. It's his opportunity to talk about where we've gone, where we're going and uh, exciting new developments, least of which I'm sure will be the, uh, the new team coming to Ottawa in 2014. I've always liked that event because it shows the inclusivity of the CFL. Can you think of another organization where the commissioner is actually sitting down with the fans and taking their opinion into consideration? With all due respect, I can't. On the flip side, there's another event that I look forward to and it's called Cheer Extravaganza. That is the event that showcases the cheerleading teams of the CFL. The women and men, yes ladies, there are men cheerleaders that uh, represent our community so phenomenally. You know, if you just think that cheerleaders is give me a B, give me a C on the sidelines, you are so sorely mistaken because there's so much more to it than that. These men and women represent their communities that they live in by going to different hospitals, taking part in different social programs, helping their community as a, as a, as a, as a, as, as a whole. And I take my hat off to them. They do this from a, volunteer, from a volunteering standpoint, and the, the difference that they leave in the lives of their communities is, is, is astounding. So I always like to go to the Cheer Extravaganza event because I think it's my way of supporting them. 
Um, so if you happen to be in Toronto this week and you have an opportunity to check that out, you will not be disappointed. Now, when I think about the game itself, there are, you know, the Calgary Stampeders and the Toronto Argonauts, people have been asking me what do I think. So I'll tell you what I think. On the one hand, with the Toronto Argonauts, you've got the hot hand of Ricky Ray. Ricky Ray, of course, has been had spent many years with the Edmonton Eskimos, recent and was traded this year to the Toronto Argonauts in a trade that seemed to shock the nation. Well, it's a trade that's worked out pretty well for the Argos, as now they're in the Grey Cup. After going 9-9 in the regular season, Ricky Ray seemed, uh, seemed to have caught fire at the right time, uh, posting huge wins against not only the Montreal, I'm sorry, not only against the Edmonton Eskimos, his former team, but the Montreal Alouettes to be on the biggest stage at home. But then on the flip side, you've got Kevin Glenn. Kevin Glenn was so close to going uh, to, to playing in the Grey Cup in 2007 when he broke his arm in the final, and as a result, uh, a backup quarterback had to take his place. Well, now his time has come, and he gets to lead the Stampeders against the Argonauts. Now, it's interesting to note that back in 2009, when the, when the Calgary Stampeders last played in the Grey Cup, they played and they beat the Montreal Alouettes at home. Can history repeat, and can Calgary do the same in Toronto, against Toronto? Well, we'll see. Now, of course, the quarterbacks usually get a lot of the spotlight, but for me, not so much in this game. There are two people of each organization that I'll be, that I'll be thinking of during Grey Cup Sunday. First of all, on the Toronto Argonauts, I'll be thinking of Chad Owens, the flying Hawaiian. If you've watched any of the Argos games, you know that Chad Owens is nothing, is nothing short of a human highlight reel. When this guy catches the ball, look out. Do not give this man room or he will do damage. I'm exceptionally impressed with Chad Owens' play. I like him a lot. Not that much because he's not a BC Lions, but as much as I can without feeling like I'm cheating on my team. I really like Chad Owens because I had the opportunity to meet him last year at the Tweet Up. Now the Tweet Up, as you might guess by the title, is an event where people who tweet about the CFL have an opportunity to get together and meet members of the CFL, some players, and most importantly, other fans. Last year at the Tweet Up, Chad Owens was, uh, was there in Vancouver and had an opportunity to meet with him, take a picture with him, and chat with him for a little bit. But what really, what, what, what my memory of Chad Owens isn't necessarily my interaction with him, but my friend's interaction with him. My friend Jay, who lives in Vancouver, who's a great BC Lions fan, but unfortunately also a Manchester City fan, we'll let that slide for now, had the opportunity to meet one of his heroes, Chad Owens. When Chad Owens walked, walked close to us, Jay thrust his camera into my chest and said, can you get a picture of me and Chad? Now, I'm not making fun of Jay, and I'm not trying to throw him under the bus, but his voice cracked. And listen, it all happens to us from time to time when we get really excited. And you could see in this grown man's eyes, he was so, being Jay, you could see in Jay's, in Jay's eyes, he was so excited about meeting one of his CFL heroes in, uh, in, uh, in Chad Owens. And I love that. And Chad couldn't have been more down to earth with him. Now, I'm not, again, I'm not mocking, I'm not mocking Jay because I'm pretty sure there's been a time or two when I've come across G. Roy Simon, I've been like, okay, G. Roy, so totally get that. So, you know, as Chad Owens has had a phenomenal career, the one thing that's missing has been that Grey Cup ring, and I wish him the best of luck this weekend. Now, with the Calgary organization, I've made it no secret that I'm a huge fan of all different aspects of the CFL, and I just mentioned a little while ago that I really respect the cheerleading teams of the CFL. Well, there's one cheerleader that I've had an opportunity to get to know over the last year or two. And I use the bunny coats because I've never met this person, but I've come to have a lot of respect for them. Her name is Petra, and she dances for the Outriders. Now, what really blows me away about this young lady is the fact that there's so much time that she spends in terms of community involvement, as well as balancing her studies at university, as well as dancing for multiple teams in the Calgary area. And she seems to be not only down to earth, but has a phenomenal head on her shoulders. I don't have a daughter, but if I did, I'd want her to, uh, to look at somebody like Petra as a role model because she totally seems to have her stuff together. And, I, and I, look at, I look at her and I think to myself, I only wish her the best in the future. And there's so many, there's so many women and men that dance for, uh, for, the, for the different teams that embody that type of spirit. And while I can't single them all out in this blog, I'm going to choose Petra today and I'm going to say, I honestly hope for your sake that the Calgary Stampeders win so you can get that Grey Cup ring. Because I think with all the hard work that you've put into everything that you do within, that, within the Calgary community, you deserve something really great to happen to you. And I hope that, it, that it's you getting to have a Grey Cup ring that you can put on yourself. So Chad Owens, best of luck to you. Petra, best of luck to you. In regards to who I think is going to win, listen, this blog's going along pretty well. Why am I going to tick off a fan base by picking a team? 
Instead, I'll say best of luck to both teams. And if you're in the Toronto area this weekend, and if you want to have a, if you want to have a good time, I suggest you come downtown and look for a CFL fan and to party with. We're not too hard to find. We might be in green, we might be in orange and black, we might be in red, we might be in black and yellow. You get the gist. Nonetheless, I hope everybody has an opportunity to check out the Grey Cup this weekend. Thank you so much for checking out my blog, and I'll see you soon.